Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you showing how I'm taking this dollar spot from Target binder system and I am going to make it into a homeschool planner. Here are some of the washi's that I'm going to be using in this project. The paper is from a very old Hobby Lobby Paper Studio brand. I don't think I have seen it recently, so probably can't get it anymore. And then just some school stickers that I'm also going to be using in this project. So the first thing I'm just going to do is measure the cover of my binder and then cut a piece of paper just to glue on the front cover. Next up, I'm going to take my ATG gun and just put some adhesive on the cover as close to the edges of the binder as I can get. And then you'll also see me take some adhesive and put it on the paper as well. I just wanted to make sure that I got it stuck down really well um, since this is the going on the cover. I don't plan on carrying this uh, binder around with me since it is just for our homeschool planning so it shouldn't go through a whole lot of wear and tear but and then I did have a little extra around the outsides and I'm just going to take my craft knife and cut the extra off. The next thing you'll see me do is I'm going to take the uh, tabbed dividers and I am just going to cover those as well. Basically the same way I did the cover, just putting a little ATG over the front of the folders being careful not to cover um, the holes with the tape and then I'm going to lay the tab right over the paper and then for most of the tabs I used a scissors or for most of the dividers I should say it was a little difficult to cut around the tabs which I'm sorry I'm out of frame you can't see but um, for the rest, for some of the other ones, I did use my craft knife to cut around the tabs, which I really want to get the new slice um, craft knife. I've heard really good things about it. Mine is just a Paper Studio Hobby Lobby brand that I've had for a really long time. So it didn't exactly, like cutting around the tabs aren't the smoothest cuts, but um, that didn't really bother me. And then I'm just going to go ahead and punch the holes. You'll see me do a couple more tabs and then I just decided to turn the camera off and finish it because I basically do the same process for all of them. And then the other thing you won't see me do is after I put the pattern cardstock on the front, 
I alternated red and black on the inside of the tabs. But I will show you that once I have these all covered. Also, sorry if you can hear that chainsaw in the background. They are cutting down a tree across the street. And it's been pretty quiet all morning until, of course, now when I go to record. So sorry about that. Okay, so here are all my tabs and um, dividers, and like I said, I just um, alternated red and black on the inside, on the opposite side of them. Now the next thing I'm going to do is measure the inside cover. And then take this black cardstock and put it in the front. And again, just using the ATG to glue it down. So next thing I'm going to do is just start to put the, I put the monthly views behind one tab and then behind this one I'm doing this week and next week and then the rest of my weeks behind this other one and then until I figure out what I want the last two tabs to be I just took the notes paper and divided it between the two because I'm not quite sure what I want all of my dividers to say yet. Then next I'm going to take this monthly view 
and just cover up the front with some scrapbook paper that I just grabbed out of my stash. just because I don't need the front of that calendar. And I believe this is also a Paper Studio brand paper, yes, from Hobby Lobby, that I also got. Actually, this one I didn't get quite so long ago, so you could probably still find it. Then I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim around. And then I'm just going to use a an Ink Joy ballpoint pen to fill in the days for September. I plan on using like my monthly view to keep track of when we're going to have school and when we're not going to have school and if we did decide if I decide to take my daughter on any like little field trips or just things like that and I don't plan on using this calendar um, this planner for anything personal unless it would interfere with school like say we would take a Friday off and go camping or something. Obviously, we wouldn't have school on that Friday. So then I'm just going to take this weekly view and do the same thing and cover up the front of it since I don't need it. And then I'm just putting everything back in my binder and checking it out to make sure that everything fits okay. Okay, so now that I have showed you how I put together my homeschool binder, I'm just going to do almost like a quick little plan with me for you. Um, so I'm just, again, using some stickers from the Target Dollar Spot that I got last year. And then I am using a red fine tip pen. I believe it's Recollections brand from Michaels. And I'm just going through, and I actually have my son's 
school set schedule uh, pulled up on my laptop next to me and I'm referring to that so days that he doesn't have school my daughter won't have school um, obviously because they'll both be home together um, Wednesdays we don't have school because my son is at therapy so a lot of times Wednesday my daughter and I are running errands and then Wednesday is also library day so I'm just going through the monthly view and writing any any no school days or anything like that And then you can see too, I do have picture day um, scheduled in there. That's when my son has picture day. So I thought it's only fair that um, I'll take some pictures of my daughter too as well. So now I just have the weekly view. Um, it's not real fancy. I'm just gonna throw down a little bit of washi to kind of decorate. So it looks a little more back to schoolish, but I do want to um, do a little bit more stamping. I didn't do a whole lot of stamping. In fact, I don't think I did any in this layout. Um, but I do have a stamp set from Sweet Stamp Shop. That is their plan school. And I do want to use that stamp set a little bit more, maybe make some stickers for myself. in the future to use um, but for now I just wrote down what I had planned for us um, the other thing I want to do is get into like some more color coding so when I planned out this week I tried to make sure that there was a math focus a reading focus that we had an art project that we were gonna do this week just to get a little bit of variety And in case you're wondering, um, I don't remember if I've said this before, but we're not using any like curriculum necessarily. Um, I have a lot of just little workbooks that we have gotten either at our Dollar Tree or like the Target Dollar section. We use a lot of those little workbooks, which my daughter um, adores. We have a Gordman's in town, which is kind of like I would say it's like an upscale TJ Maxx, um, but they I have gotten a couple of workbooks from there that are from a publisher that actually makes um, like educational products for teachers, so it's actually really high quality. My daughter really likes that too. Um, you can find lots of stuff at the Dollar Tree or like I said in the dollar section of Target or you know places like that where you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on those kind of things so don't think just because you're spending you know a lot of money on you know curriculums you don't necessarily have to and then, so those two letter, the letter A sticker that I put up on the top and the number one, that's just to help remind me that our letter focus for the week is on letter A and that our focus for numbers um, this week is on the number one. And that came in a sticker set from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm just going in with some older school stickers that I've kind of had laying around in my stash for a while. And then I'm just going to go back and kind of decorate this monthly view a little bit. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, I'm going to try to film um, more homeschool videos or at least get some blog posts up, kind of letting you know how it's going for us with our first year with homeschool um, preschool. I can tell you right off the bat that my daughter loves it. She begs to do homeschool while my son is at preschool, so I definitely think that's something that we're going to be doing for the next couple years until we get her into um, 
like a regular preschool for that socialization and then yeah she'll do um, awesome for kindergarten so thanks for watching check back for more planner and homeschool related videos thanks